Hello, everybody. How you doing? It's your boy, Pastor Dre, right here at creatingwebsite.org. I'm about to make some adjustments to my website, so I wanted to give you some behind-the-scenes access. What I'm going to do is I have a website here, gospeldjdrops.com, and I've updated it to where you can now put in your email here, but I don't want this pop-up to keep popping up at the beginning. It was okay before because I didn't have this option. So now that I've added this option of email here, I don't want to annoy the visitors or the guests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this pop-up with Thrive Leads. So let me show you how we're going to work it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my dashboard of my website. If you don't have Thrive Themes or Thrive Leads, get it today. It'll take your web design to another level. You could create lead pages, lead generations fast. It makes it so much simpler. Okay, let's do this. So, if you go down here where it says Thrive Dashboard, I'm going to go to my Thrive Leads option. Okay, so let's go ahead and go there. Scroll down. It says Thrive Leads. We're going to click that. Now, remember, the pop-up is popping up. It could be a little bit annoying. It's popping up right at the beginning. So, I'm going to go to my lead. This is my lead here. It's called my micro lead, and it's a light box. So, I'm going to go click, click Edit. And what's going to happen... I'm going to click edit design and you're going to be able to see the pop-up that is popping up when I visit the website. So let's go ahead and take a look at that pop-up now. Okay, now once it pops up, I'm going to take a look at it and I'm going to make some adjustments to it. So these, this is what's popping up now. So let's go ahead and take another look. So when you go to my website, gospeldjdrops.com, okay, you're trying to read this, okay, Gospel DJ Drops. And then all of a sudden this pop-up pops up, it can be annoying. So we're going to go back here, and I'm going to change this to don't forget your 10 DJ drops. Did you, or don't, I'm going to say don't forget. Don't forget your free DJ drops. How about your, your 10 free DJ DJ drops. Okay. Now I don't like it going to two lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here and we're gonna change the size of the font. There we go. Make it one more. Boom. Then we're gonna center it. And it's already bolded. Okay. Don't forget your 10 free DJ drops. And then we're gonna hit save. Now they have an option to say no, I don't need any DJ drops. I'm satisfied with the ones I have. Yes, send me the 10 free DJ drops. I want to take my station to another level. Now, what happens when they click here, you have different scenes, okay? So, you have state one. This is, this is your default state. State one is it's going to go to the other option of nice. Your DJ drops are fresh. Would you like to stay updated on our specials, new releases, and discounts? So, that's if they select no, I don't want any DJ drops. And state two is... If they select they want DJ drops, what email should we send the DJ drops to? Now, how do you work all this? Let me show you really quick. So you go to default state, right? Okay, and you have state one and state two. When you click this box, it gives you an option. If you scroll down where it says animation in action, you could tell it to click. when they On the click, it'll switch states. See that there? So you can edit it. So I want to go to state one when they click this box, which is going to say... Okay, your DJ drops refresh. Now, when they click box two, you also have another state, and that's going to switch state, and it's going to go to state two. Pretty cool, huh? I'm telling you, with Thrive Leads, it's amazing. All right, so this box takes them to state one. This box takes, takes them to state two, and this is your default state. So now what I want, I'm going to save this. So now let's go visit Gospel DJ Drops one more time. Okay. And it's loading the web page up. So right now, we're going to go change how often this pop-up appears. Right, have, right now, we have it every day and displaying immediately. But I want to change that to when they're getting ready to leave the page. Because look, this is how it looks. If you're visiting my site, let's just say zero so I can make it pop up. If you're visiting the site, right, you go there, you're excited about visiting the site. All of a sudden, you're reading this stuff on the left. All right, and this annoying pop-up pops up. It's like, hold on, let me finish reading what I'm reading. So, and they're both asking for emails. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to come here and I'm going to say I want this to display when they're getting ready to leave the page. So we're going to say show when users, let's see, boom, show when the user clicks an element, nope, show when the user is about to exit the page, yes. So there's different options you can choose for when your pop-up pops up, page load after a certain amount of time, which is pretty cool. So we're going to choose show when the user is about to exit the page. And we're going to put smart exit. This loads up on iPhones and different devices. So we're going to save here. So now when I go to gospeldjdrops.com and I hit refresh, okay, I'm going to visit the website. And it gives me an opportunity to read now. I'm reading. I'm going down. I'm looking at your packages. I'm not annoyed by a pop-up. And then I say, okay, great website. And say I decide not to sign up for the DJ drops. I want to leave. Boom. All of a sudden, whoa, when I'm getting ready to leave, don't forget your 10 free DJ drops. These are high-quality, professionally mixed DJ drops, $125 value. I think I'm going to make this a little bit bigger, the font size. So if I say, no, I don't want the DJ drops, stage one pops up. Nice. Your DJ drops are fresh. Okay, now let's refresh so we can make the pop up pop up again. And I want to show you what happens when they click stage two or the option two. Yes, send me the DJ drops. It's going to take them to stage two. Pretty cool, huh? So, or scene two, whatever you want to call it. So then they just put their email and then they get the DJ drops. All right, so let's go ahead and edit the font size. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go edit design. Okay. And we're going to make the font a little bigger. So all you do is you come over here to your light box. And we're going to click on the font. And let's see. These are 10 high quality professionally mixed DJ drops. So I'm going to make this go down to another line. So we can make it all bigger. Okay. Make it stand out. Boom. These are 10 high quality professionally mixed DJ drops. And I'm going to make this stand out. So you highlight it. And just click the font size. Let's do 40. Make it stand out. Boom. Okay. And let's slide this up a little bit. It's too much space. So you click on your columns. And you go to layout position. And you slide it up. There we go. There it is. All right. So now we hit save. So now when we visit gospeldjdrops.com. We're scrolling the site. Boom, boom, boom. All right. If I decide to leave pop-up hits me. Don't forget your 10 free DJ drops. These are high quality, professionally mixed DJ drops. All right. Hope this tutorial has helped you out. If you don't have Thrive Themes, Thrive Leads, Thrive Architect, get it today. I'll put a link in the video. If this video has helped you out, just hit it with a like or send a comment. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section. Your boy would love to help you out. Talk to you later.